Ja, Klianus, Stavit, Segda, Tibia, Peruvlu, Bibi, Tibia, Sem, Soyem, Suschistvon. Podir Javat, Tibia, Vertiava, Professionale, Zanyatia. Biet, Dia, Tibia, Vertvai, Remena. Ponyamat, Stor, T. Verojatne, Zahošić, pogovorit se Julia ob etom mesto. Ljubi naši životni e v, i v knečnom, knečnom itogi dite, takže kak ete. Ne očen radro žaca Kagda tenje ubereš svaju odještu. Smotret na tibia kak ja smatriju šas na vsu našu žin. Žin. Vse se je fairy tale waiting to unfold Richer of a poor, you've got my hand to hold. You were born to be the one who makes sense of all my wrongs. Through all the twists and turns, where we belong. Family and friends, you have come together from near and far to witness and celebrate and be a part of this very, very special ceremony. Today, we are gathered together to witness and celebrate and honor Dasha and John in their commitment to one another. This ceremony is rooted in the Jewish tradition and welcomes the diversity of beliefs and religious values present here today. We cherish life lived in community, and our relationships with them and with each other bring us here to celebrate not just their wedding, but also their marriage. It is a Jewish belief that when two people who are destined for each other get married, they complete one another. And for Dasha and John, this wedding is also about the potential of a couple to make the world a better place by the virtue of being together as one. John among the, uh, let's say, top 10 most generous, kindest, intelligent, dedicated, compassionate, and funny people I know. With many girls at his high school, he always say they're annoying. It's kind of a low bar to be not annoying, but, uh, but Dasha is much higher than that bar. So John has seen me stocking this purse for like over a year. He bought it for me because he knew I loved it so much for our wedding, which is the sweetest thing, and filled them with one letter for every month of the first year of our marriage, starting with June 2017. When my dad was alive, he would call my mom the love of his life. So Jonathan found a girl who was a reader, a lifelong learner. She's fun, she's kind, she's generous. She's wicked smart, as he says us. But more than that, she has a big heart. And she's the love of your life. Dasha, you're getting married. Sorry, you are married. I wrote this in advance. And in many ways, that is still hard to believe. I mean, look, I'm not going to say that we all expected you to become the stereotypical neighborhood cat lady before you turn 30. But I'm not going to not say it either. For Dasha, she's always pushing herself beyond what you could imagine would be humanly possible. Just in the last two years living in San Francisco, she's uh, studied for MCATs, taken MCATs, applied for MD-PhD programs, interviewed, uh, visited MD-PhD programs. She's uh, worked on publishing research papers. She's worked a full-time job. And beyond that, as again you've heard, she's been the most amazing friend, daughter, aunt, and, and niece that anyone could ever ask for. 
I've seen you face challenges, cry about them, and then I have seen you overcome the hell out of them. And I want you to know that I'm not just as proud of you as a brother could be of his sister, but I am as proud of you and what you have accomplished as I would be of my own children. You're with me, I've got it all. John, you've proven to me time and time again, as Dasha has experienced more than her fair share of difficult situations, that you are the best person to be there for her. You are a giver in your own right and a rock to many people, but for her, you are everything. And it makes me want to cry every time I think about it out of happiness. I had this whole speech planned for our engagement, <laughs> but in the hecticness of not being able to find the ring, and worrying that our Airbnb was about to be burned down by a forest fire, I just blurted something ineloquent out. So let me take this opportunity to ask you again to marry me. From the first time I saw you, I knew that you'd be mine. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Now it gets fun. I know. From the first glance you gave my world, slowly stopped the time. One day, Four of us were discussing on Dasha choices, choices for medical school, medical PhD. So I asked John about his preferences, and I said, you have to think about your career as well. He abruptly interrupted me, me, Ellen, this is not about me. This is all about Dasha. I am overwhelmed by Selflessness is, in my opinion, just commendable. I have no doubt you're going to take care of Dasha. We got to know John a bit better when he and Dasha visited on the following Thanksgiving, and no doubt we were impressed how mature and thoughtful John was in spite of his young age and how kind and warm he was toward Dasha. Uh, we wanted to say thank you to Jane Dawn for bringing him up to be strong and independent and loving and kind man. Thank you. applicable to family, friends, and of course pets. So you should plan your future house to be big enough to accommodate at least five more dogs and cats. <laughs> so, and those of us who know how much Dasha cares and worries about Morris and Kyle can easily envision what kind of mother she will become. <laughs> You're so empathetic that you can't bear to leave Morris and Kyle alone. <laughs> but we made so many jokes about killing each other before the wedding that Mia had to ask us if our relationship is doing okay. <laughs> don't worry, it is. <laughs> John, I don't even need to tell you how lucky I am to share my life with you. Mostly because people tell me all the time in front of you. <laughs> the home we have built living together over the past two years has given me roots that ground me. In volatile times, your existence is my sigh of relief. And I will never stop appreciating how hard you work to bring peace to my mind and make me happy. Late nights on the phone, letting me bring home a dog, <laughs> getting allergy shots so I could keep my cat, <laughs> among other things. The roots of our relationship have fed the fire of any success that I have had, allowing me to grow and to conquer my dreams. <laughs> You're self-assured and incredible in your work, but are just as happy to lead as to follow. You do so much for others, yet are racked with the guilt that you're not doing more. I love the fact that we've been together for seven years, but I'm still surprised by you every day. I love that every one of your flaws, of course, there are incredibly few of those, <laughs> make me love you even more. John, there are so many things I love about you. Your thirst for knowledge and the fact that you're my favorite debate partner, that you're incredibly weird, 
that you're the biggest cheerleader for my career goals, that you're a 60-year-old man in a 25-year-old body, <laughs> that you're unbelievably open-minded. You are amazing, and if you stayed the same from today through the rest of our lives, I would already be the luckiest person in the world. You push yourself to become more self-aware, more well-read, more just in your actions, more generous, to become more aware of the space occupied by those less fortunate than you. These things have not only made you a better, amazing human, but an amazing partner as well. So though I'm looking at you today as the love of my life, I know that 60 years from now, I will be looking at someone who, if it's even possible, is even kinder, wiser, more generous, and probably bald. Genetics have anything to say it. I'm okay with that trade-off. I met Dasha at the uh, Harvard of the Western Appalachian Mid-Atlantic, and, uh, and pretty soon I knew that he was Twitter-pated. I could tell things were getting serious with the liberal Californian when John began letting me know that the vast majority of my comedic vocabulary was offensive to everyone. I can't think of anyone who better fits my brother's personality and brings out his repressed weirdness and goofiness. both dorks, but you have your stealthy jock sides. I just found out that John once went an entire baseball season undefeated. You're both nerds, but you can disguise it with varying degrees of success under a veneer of seeming coolness. You're both weird, but I've personally witnessed you pull off normal for stretches of even up to 10 minutes at a time. Like Lego bricks, you fit together with an outward simplicity that masquerades the complex underlying mechanisms that make it all possible and you fit together better than any other couple I personally know. Uh, still, if I could give an advice, I would suggest reserving some time for each other no matter how busy a school and work will be. You complement each other very well, and as a wedding song and Fiddler on the Roof says, you look very natural together. You have a great partner for your life, and I wish you all the best. Enjoy every moment and every day of this love. We love you. continue to be overwhelmed by each other. I now have the utmost privilege and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. So John and Dasha, together in marriage, by God's grace, you will make this world a more kind and thoughtful place. forever grateful that I took you up on that offer to get tea at the Commons on a brisk night in October 29, 2009. Now, almost eight years later, will you put up with my incredibly <laughs> annoying forgetfulness for the rest of our lives and make me? In you, I have found myself. I have found completeness. John, you are the love of my life, and I vow to complete you and to love you wholly forever. <laughs>